taking that back to sex it's like you know who, who do you want to be again you know it's like back into that vision of like oh yeah I've got low 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 bedroom self-esteem you know and like when you're being low bedroom self-esteem as in you know just really doubting your body feeling ashamed of your lack of orgasm or your sexual response then yeah. what are your options coming out of that you know like do you avoid being pleasured do you kind of like short circuit how much time someone's pleasuring you do you mm. allow someone to penetrate you too early because you're afraid of being inadequate whereas if you take on a different state of being and a different vision for yourself like you know i'm valuable and worthy and lovable and i'm a queen and, and you know i deserve to be pleasured and pleasure is my birthright and i can take as long as i need then who do you become in that room you know like Generally, what I found is if is if you're comfortable, um, if you're comfortable, then the other person is comfortable. If you even if you have to like a minute, just fake your comfort, like just be. You know, I remember my early days. I used to just kind of almost pretend that I was, you know, feeling these things just to kind of like allow myself greater freedom. And then it just sort of, you know, I started to become it just naturally you know I'd have to like take a deep breath I'd feel my shame and I'd just be with my shame and I'd just be like oh, I'm gonna breathe I'm gonna make myself bigger than my shame and um and, absolutely yeah that was really helpful mm. absolutely I, I think that's a really really powerful tool and to be I mean god I think there's maybe nothing sexier than a man who can stay hard while you cry for a bit <laughs> you know <laughs> just like just keep going like just keep going honey I just gotta cry it out for a little bit well, it depends what's happening yeah I mean it, it depends, depends on the moment obviously sometimes you want them to stop but sometimes you don't <laughs> yeah sometimes you don't it's very important like this is part of what we're doing is we're releasing the the emotion stored in the tissue sometimes it might be tears yeah the thing is for a partner yeah. it depends what meaning you put on the tears like you know, you might want to check in, are you doing okay? But like, if you put meaning on it, like, oh, you know, I'm hurting them. They can't handle this. This is my poor, like poor woman. She can't handle this. Or, you know, here's my strong woman, like just releasing emotion and feeling how sexy, you know? And if you want your partner to keep yeah. going while you are um, accessing this other side of the coin of love, which is grief, then that's completely valid, you know? It's very beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. If absolutely. I can out while I'm having sex, I'm like, oh, good. Some things that I'm releasing, you know, and I obviously feel very beautifully safe in this connection. <laughs> There's so much more for you over in the Joygasmic Life membership. Become a bulletproof mom with us. Learn the tips and tricks and skills you need to recover from your postpartum mental health journey and learn the tools of joygasmic alchemy so you can have the kind of birth you've been dreaming of.